Hi. Well, some of you are aware of it and some are not, but I have uh, Rhino developing courses on the Teachable platform, uh, the level one development in C Sharp and C++ together with some explanations of C Sharp language and C++ language so that you can start from scratch or from zero. And if you go uh, to the Teachable website, the link will be down below, of course, you will be able to start the course, course for free, like first four or five lessons are uh, an introductory level where you can set up your plugin and make the hello world example and see how it feels like, how it looks like to start programming for Rhino. And uh, since not too many people know that they could do that, I will also post those couple of videos uh, that show how to set up your plugin here on YouTube as well. So without further ado, this will be the first introductory part. If you want to write code in C-sharp for Rhino, we will use something that is called Rhino Common. I told you that C-sharp belongs to a so-called .NET platform and Rhino Common is an SDK, Software Development Kit, that will enable you to write your own plugins for Rhino. The great thing about Rhino Common is that it is uh, cross-platform, it is used to write code for Rhino for Windows, Rhino for Mac, to write for Grasshopper, create your own components for example, and for Rhino Python scripting as well. The Python scripting engi engine is entirely based on Rhino Common and all Python scripts use Rhino Common to work with Rhino. In this course we will only cover Rhino for Windows. Depending on the time you're watching this, I may have released other lessons on working with Rhino Common, but as I said in this one we will be using Rhino Windows. Uh, that being said, a big advantage of working with Rhino Common compared to Rhino C++ SDK, uh, for example, is that your plugin could potentially work on Windows and Mac without any changes. What does potentially mean? Well, we'll talk about that later on, but if you enter this course, you should not plan on making your plugins that will definitely work on a Mac. Just potentially. <laughs> for a plugin that will definitely work on a Mac, I will probably make another course and you should check it if it's already out. The course will be of course updated for subsequent releases of Rhino. If you're watching this video in year 2050 and you're still working with Rhino, kudos for Rhino. Uh, we will develop for Rhino in C Sharp in Windows and with the help of another Microsoft software, Visual Studio. Visual, Visual Studio is also called uh, IDE, Integrated Development Environment, or in plain English, software used to write your code. We will use Visual Studio 2017 for Rhino 6 and you can use Visual Studio 2010 for Rhino 5 if you want to test it in parallel. Visual Studio 2010 is not free but 2017 has three versions, Community, Professional and Enterprise and all three versions will work and the good news is that Community version is free for students, open source contributors and small teams. You can see the details here. I will keep you up to date, of course, and add new uh, information whenever something new appears. Once you have Rhino and Visual Studio that you need, we can start with the lessons. I am very excited for you because you will be able to achieve the level of control that will be exhilarating and addictive. As I mentioned, we will be working in 64-bit Windows and I will mention how to make your plugins work on a Mac and OS operating system later on, but uh, let's concentrate on it in some other course. If you decided to listen to a course on how to program for Rhino, my guess is that you already bought and have Rhinoceros 3D and even used it. For these classes you will need Rhino 6. Uh, at least you must have 64-bit Windows and a 64-bit Rhino version and the course will be assume that. Since Rhino 6 only comes as a 64-bit version, that should be automatically covered. This course is originally made for Rhino 6, but if you're watching it for versions Rhino 7 Plus, that means I have updated the videos and covered the differences, so you're good. If you're developing for Rhino 6, you will have to install Visual Studio and the good news is that you can use versions 2010, 12, 13, 15 and 17. In this course, I will be using Visual Studio 2017 Community, which is free for students, open source contributors and small teams because it is current and because Rhino 6 was programming, programmed in it so it promises the best compatibility. So what we will do, we will basically follow the instructions that you can find on this link and everything is nicely and neatly described although it's not really complicated. The first thing uh, that you need to do is you need to install the Visual Studio and you can simply Google Visual Studio 2017 or whatever is uh, current, download and you will uh, usually come to the 
and you will usually arrive to the site where you can download the free community version or of course if you have any of the professional ones even better in my case this is in German I would just simply uh, click here and download it and install it you would just need to install uh, all the C sharp or the .NET libraries and um, it's kind of a standard installation so I will not go through it you can pause this video and continue it after you have successfully done it as I mentioned before uh, there is no reason there is no reason why any of these installations would not work but every computer has its own personality and I didn't want to sell you a course which you cannot take because you couldn't even install the software so this is why these first couple of videos are free and that is why I advise you to go through all the installations and buy the course if everything works just wanted to be fair that being said after you install Visual Studio now you have to install uh, the Rhino Common Software Development Kit I already have that installed here and you can see the explanation here of how to do it but I'll just show you in a second where that is I will start my uh, Visual Studio 2017 then I will go to tools extensions and updates and in the left hand sidebar you will see there is an online extension what you can do theoretically is now search for Rhino Common and install it in my case you can see that it's the extension is already installed but in your case as on this image you will have the download button and that will be a very simple very simple uh, process when it comes to the installation you will see you will have to accept the license agreement by clicking on the install button and sometimes the installation will begin only after you close the Visual Studio it's, it's a bit weird try multiple options if it doesn't work so if you have this dialogue if it asks you to modify something that will be you agreeing to the license agreements sometimes there can be some unpredicted problems for example once I got this window appear to me and pressing on add the end tasks should end them and the installation with will continue so at the end theoretically your modification will be successfully applied and you will have to close and restart the, the Visual Studio theoretically uh, now you have everything you need to start making plugins for Rhino for Windows in the next step we will create your first hello world Rhino plugin and just before we go there a simple explanation on the Rhino common files that you will find in the system folder of your Rhino installation if you do not understand what this means do not be bothered it's a bit technical and really not important at the moment but later on you might come back here just to remind yourself so according to the Rhino developer page you will have Rhino common DLL this is a pure .NET DLL that plugins can reference and use to work with Rhino Rhino common XML is an XML file that contains SDK documentation comments specific to the Rhino common DLL uh, programming development environments like Visual Studio Mono develop etc use this XML file to display tool tips and other helpful information while the developer writes their code Rhino common C DLL and Mono manager RHP these are C++ shared libraries compiled for specific target platforms uh, Windows 64 and uh, Mac OS these libraries are used by Rhino common but should never be directly accessed by plugin developers 